Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to take a look at transformations of functions. So transformations of functions refers to how we can use knowledge of simple functions, also called parent functions or library functions, and common transformation rules to create new graphs. So we have kind of this what might look a little bit complicated here, this has all of your possible transformations all wrapped into one, and we're gonna look at some patterns for how to know what to do with each transformation here. So we're gonna go ahead and start by labeling what each and every one of these does. So we'll just go left to right here. So if we have y equals a times f of b times x plus or minus c plus or minus d, then this a value on the outside can do two things. So the first thing it does, based on whether or not it's positive or negative, tells us if we have a reflection. So if a is negative, then we have a vertical reflection, and so that would be over the x axis. So a reflection is a flip, so if we have a negative on the outside there, then we will have a flip over the x axis. Now the value of a, if a is anything greater than 1, then we have a vertical expansion, that will be if a is greater than 1, or I should say here the absolute value of a is greater than 1, or we can have a vertical compression if the absolute value of a is less than 1. All right, checking out our next value here. B. So this is a multiplier that is on the inside of our function notation. So it has a similar role, but everything here is going to be horizontal. So here, if B is negative, then we will have a horizontal reflection or flip, and that will be over the y-axis, so a left to right flip, and the multiplier on the inside if we will have a horizontal compression if the absolute value of b is greater than 1 and we will have a horizontal expansion if the absolute value of b is less than 1. So notice these are switched from how a affects things. a gave you an expansion if the absolute value of a was bigger than 1, but for b, if the absolute value of b is bigger than 1, you get a compression. We're going to notice that that's a theme. For this plus or minus c on the inside, that's going to be a horizontal shift. If it is plus c, so if we have x plus a value, then that is going to take us to the left. If it is minus c, that is going to take us to the right. So it's kind of opposite of what you might imagine. Plus, we usually think moving us to the num on the number line towards the right, but it's going to go opposite. And minus would normally make us think left, but it's going to go opposite. Okay, and then finally, plus or minus D. This one is going to be a vertical shift. If it is plus D, that's going to move us up. If it is minus D, that's going to move us down. 
Okay, so these actually fall into some pretty predictable patterns and we have some quick and easy ways to remember those patterns. So these transformations can broadly be categorized into two groups. Things that affect our graph horizontally, so left to right changes, and things that affect our graph vertically, up and down changes. And we have these mnemonics, IHOD and OVER, to help us remember which is which. So for horizontal transformations, we're gonna find those on the inside of our function notation. They are going to change our graph horizontally. They are going to be the opposite of what you might think. So that's the whole plus moves you to the left, minus moves you to the right. It's kind of opposite of what it looks like. And because we're moving left to right, messing with our x values, that is going to affect the domain of our function. So anything that's on the inside changes our graph horizontally, it does the opposite of what it might appear, and it affects the domain. Conversely, we have our A and our D here. Those are on the outside of our function notation. They are going to affect our graph in a vertical fashion. They are going to do exactly what they appear. And because they're vertical, affecting y values, they are going to affect our range. So anything like a multiplier on the outside or a plus or minus value on the outside is going to affect our graph vertically. It's gonna do exactly like it looks. So if we multiply by three, things are gonna get three times as large. If we multiply by a one half, things are gonna get half as large. If we have plus three on the outside, that's gonna move our graph up three. And those are going to affect our range. So think of the mnemonics IHOD for inside horizontal opposite domain and over outside, vertical, exactly, range. All right, guys, that does it for our introduction to transformations of functions. Stay tuned for some example videos coming next.